warrior beside us. Nothing else. Not gold, not glory. Back and forth out of you. We're a Siegfried and Toka. Ah, battle must be near. The crow has come for the feast. You have a clever tongue, friend. But tomorrow we all speak in a language older than words. Fate already knows who lives and who dies. Again I ask, where are the others? <sighs> Fetching more catapults for tomorrow's attack. You can wait. I shall wait. Somewhere else. Bloodlust and battle drunk. It is the only time I am alive. You return. That means all is ready and we cannot turn back now. Why do you worry? You'll collect more swords. I know how to fight other warriors on the field of battle. This is a city. There will be flames. It matters not. Tomorrow we will fight as warriors, not ruthless killers. This I swear upon my honor. Ah, Eivor the Talker. And to whom have you so freely given your word about how my battle goes? I said it. The gods heard it. That is enough. And if I say we burn this city to ashes and feed the crows with children, what say you? Say what you like, Siegfried, but we are free things, all of us. You're not our Jarl, nor our king. Ha ha ha! Good! Good! Keep that fire burning through the night. It shall kindle our vengeance at the break of dawn. Time to go lie on my furs. How do you do that, Eivor? Sleep before a battle, I mean. Easy. I remember my mother's murder. Each moment. Second, I recall every word the old father ever said to me. And finally, I think upon this war-filled world. And of the next. The whole of endless wonder. Only then do I rest. It's a great honor to be sacrificed as Odin's steed. Today you die. You would imagine we would run out of work at some point. <laughs> Come back any time, my friend. Today, warriors, we shall take that city. 
and sack it and burn it to the ground. And tonight, friends, we shall feast in Odo's palace or in Odin's hall with the choosers of the slain. Now is the time of honor, the hour of our glory! The day of vengeance! the king of glory the lord is strong and mighty in battle he trains my hands for war so that my arms may hold this cross of gold i shall not yield brave sith bring a gift of victory hold in lend me your helm of arms Vida, feed my need for vengeance of Vanir, Oasir, crush these walls. I am the gate of Paris! Favors the brave. Now what's Siegfried? Rush the palace gates! We'll bring the whole place crashing down on Odo's skull! To the palace! 
Fire and vengeance! Faster! Faster! Catch them off guard! This place is heavily guarded. Hail of victory! <laughs> Dogs. The silence gnaws my guts. Shields up and close ranks! right into Odo's trap like a healing elk. Do not lose heart, Siegfried. Battle is a fickle goddess. Uncle, it is worse. The scouts report that warrior priest, uh... Gasselin. Yes, he rallies a large force of Franks in the east, in that church. Damn the gods. They will crush us out in the open. What do we do? Our catapults could hit that church, but they have no way to aim. We should light signal fires on the towers. That will give the catapults something to target. Yes, do it. I will get the wounded out and alert the catapults before rejoining you. Good. And I'll take down this warrior priest Gaslan before he rallies the Franks. Eivor, keep up! We must light those towers! Climb up 
and light the towers. I will take out the guards below. to get on the other side. Silent jester from the tavern. You have earned my eternal gratitude. I assume you seek the war, priest Goslin. Please, take the church key. It's brought me only trouble. Thanks. It seems you found your tongue after all. Devastating counterattack. We will crush them between the towers and the walls. We will slay them all and burn their villages. Uh, uh, uh. 
join your nail god in death as you served him in life. Mama, I'm scared. Clear the hall. Hush, child. Shh, hush. Come, Eivor. The fighting still rages through the streets. We need your strength. And Toka, killing everyone. It is as I feared. The bloodlust is upon him. He will slaughter the whole city. If I can reach Count Odo, I can make him surrender. To stop this madness. Siegfried's warriors have surrounded the gates to Odo's palace. With Goslan dead, the streets are ours. We are moving the catapults to batter the palace gates down. There must be another way over, under or around those walls. Nolwen once spoke of a tunnel in the southwest. One way or another, I'll get in. Smuggler, I last saw you in the tunnels. That was before your army started the burning and pillaging. The slaughter is not my doing. I mean to end this. You have not won yet. Char is marching toward Paris with his heavy horse. Gods, his army comes. Well, this, they are close and riding hard. All the more reason I must hurry and end this thing. I need a hidden way into Odo's palace. I know a way. But there is a band of Frankish warriors milling about. Show me. Upon my honor, I give you my word that Toka and I, we do not want this. Fine. I will lead the way. Now, if 
vault. Down into the dark we go. That tunnel takes you into the palais. Thank you, Norman. And you? I will save what I can of my trade goods and leave through other tunnels. Godspeed as well. Not to draw it. The fine hall of North War. Gear and Frankish riches. It looks like Norman smuggled for both sides. And what are you doing? Have you escaped from your cell? Whatever you are doing, stop! Moshech is coming, and... and he'll lock you up!
Ya una vez. Comednos el comunale sanante, sen postre. Pardon me, good sirs. Where may I find Count Odo? Count Odo? Who cares about Count Odo? Where is our good friend Walter de Sans? Why? Who is Walter de Sans? A great warrior. Walter? A warrior? No. He is Count Odo's family priest. He's begging Odo to give us more wine. Huh? We plan to be passed out drunk by the time the Northmen bust into here. Odo's priest might lead me to Odo. But I need to sneak past these guards to the servant's wing. Oh. Hey, you want some meat? Yes. And you are my friend. Sorry. The meal is all gone. A beer! Bring me beer now! Ah, God speed you, sweet ale! Oh, may you <laughs> Even more guards in this hallway. I must tread with care. Must be blocked from the other side.
happened to you, I will never know. Pardon me, but is that food for Count Dodo? No, this is for Lady Theodorat, his wife. She lies at death's door. And who are you in such garb? A healer from Frisia. What happened to the lady? While helping wounded soldiers off the walls, she took an arrow in the belly. Persuade that worthless priest, Walter, to give her the last rites if you can. He's just upstairs. I will see what I can do. Thank you. Oh, my lady, why the Count will not attend to you, I will never know. The mother of his children, to think it's so stubborn that Odo, and that pathetic Walter... must be barred. Pardon me, father. Where is Count Odo? Oh, Odo? His foolish pride will kill us all! Yes, but where is he? Who are you again? No, I can tell you nothing without more wine. Ah, oh, my memory has gone all hazy. Here is your wine. Now, do you remember where is Count Odo? Wine? Ah, sweet, precious wine. The water of lies, the blood of Christ, the fiery flame of the world. Red wine, nothing more. You may have it. Oh, heaven hears my prayer. Now, I can die. Before you do, where is Count Odo? Although, I do not know. But his wife lies wounded in their master bedroom. She may have answers. On the second story, Along the main hall. Here, take the key. I lock the door. Thanks. I should head to Oro's bedroom. has grown dim. I see nothing but shapes. <laughs> Father, will you hear my confession? Sorry, um, your great ladiness, but I must speak to Count Odo. Where is he? <coughs> Odo remains locked in his sanctum. His sanctum? Up the landing and across the hall. My husband still hopes Charles will ride forth and save the city. Locked in, you said. There is a key in the bureau. Take it. Help my husband a any way you can. Death creeps upon me now. Slow and quiet, like a shadow at day's end. I so heavy. Mother, where are you? Farewell, good lady.
good are our deaths, my lord? Your lady wife lies dying. Go to her. Your duty as a husband. My duty is here. When Charles and his army arrive, we will join the attack. We will crush the heathens between the hammer of Charles and the anvil of Paris. Leave, Walter. Go comfort my wife as best you can. God, it seems, has chosen a different fate for me. The priest is right. Lay down your arms. Save your city. Among the Northmen, is not death in battle the best way to die? Come. Share a glass of wine with a doomed man. I have heard many a warrior cry out for their mothers as their life's blood feeds the ground. I no longer can say if this is the best way to die. Many have died today. Many more will die if we do not end this thing. Look at these works of stained glass. Delicate. Priceless. Evro's artisans spend years crafting each piece. Wondrous works. I grant you that. We brought them here for safekeeping. In the hopes that your invading horde won't smash them to pieces. You tell me to surrender my city? Abandon my honor? You tell me to live out my days as Siegfried's prisoner? What would you do? I would fight. And someday I will die with steel in my hand. This I know. It is my doom. But today is not that day. And if I put you on your back? Bleeding out and crying for your mother? My mother is already dead. Come, Nora! Bleed from Harry! blade for a fine warrior. You fought well, Count Odo, but not well enough. <clears throat> Give me a quick death. Do not make a spectacle of my defeat. Those are not Siegfried's horns. Charles and his army! 
He arrives in time to save the city. They do not fight. They see a flag of truce. Sickford and Charles will hold Polly. I must be there. My voice must be heard. As should I. But I am your prisoner. Then I release you on your honor, and trust you to keep our truce. Thank you, Maval. I shall. Lord Siegfried. I offer a gift of silver as a token of the love and friendship between us. Let us have peace. Silver for a truce. Not a truce, but a lasting bond. I name you my Lord of Rouen. And you bend the knee to your king. I do not kneel to wooden gods, let alone living men. But no matter. Let me take counsel. Eivor! Thank the gods you live! As to you. Good. I made it inside the palace. Odo would have surrendered the city, but... But Charles showed up with his mighty flag of truce. Aye. And you? After we split up, I took my thanes and secured the bastard prince. He's nearby. Safe. Eivor! <laughs> the gods do favor the brave. The lucky and the brave. Ah, so it is said. And Charles, he offers us a hoard of silver. Ah, indeed. And all we have to do is sail away. He brings enough treasure to make every war thane here wealthy beyond dreams. For those who lived. Gambling our lives for silver, that is our way. Now, do we take his offer? By luck, he's bloody balls, yes. And call him king if it makes the old troll happy. Treasure is what we want. Treasure and a truce. Take his offer. Charles, we take your gift, and in return we give you peace. Siegfried. This man, Siegfried, swears to be my loyal friend and protect our lands in Amiens and Rouen. Gosla, Abel, and my wife died defending Paris from these river pirates. And now, you offer them the very silver we paid you to defend us. Are you mad? Wait. We know you are. Let me ask instead. Are you a coward or a fool? Siegfried swears to protect our lands in the north. If you surrender my birthright, you are no king of mine. Count Odo, I bested you in battle and spared your life. Honor the terms of our truce. This heathen knows more about honor than my king. Today has been a good day, but I tire of long speeches. We will take our silver and go. You Franks may stay and pursue your own quarrels. Wait. A final matter. Eivor of England, bring forth my son, Prince Bernard. I am as good as my word. Toka, bring out the boy. King Father! Take 
Take me home. <laughs> there, there, there. I don't stand straight like the future king of Francia. God watches you, huh? I want mid and music, silver and song, dancing, and someone warm in my sheets. Come, friends, let us feast. Tomorrow, the Franks will bury their dead, thanking their god that they yet live. And they should, for Paris was merely kissed this time. Should we breach those walls again, we will bare our teeth and bite. And should Charles judge it wise to draw swords against us again, let him remember the glint of our axe blades. Let him remember the red mist on the air, the taste of iron. Enjoy the feast all! A purse full of silver to any who can drink more ale than I! Skull! What is this? Racing against pigs? <laughs> yes! What is more amusing than watching drunken men race against pigs? We have done worse things to entertain ourselves. Would you like to try, Eivor? There is a small price for the winner. Or are you not fast enough? Where do I start? <laughs> Good sport, Eivor. You will start here. Run when the pig starts running. To raise the stakes and fun, I will join you too. Ready? Warming up. Another victory for my saga. Seems your legs were blessed. No matter the winner, the joy was in the doing. Indeed. And we sure slice open Frankia's belly this time, eh? Now to feast on her entrails. The winnings are worthy of a serpent's lair. 
And the roads glisten from the dew of slaughter. Yes, though one wonders if such butchery was needed. No lessons today, Eivor. I doubt I will remember them. <laughs> Truly, Toka. Tonight we drink. And tomorrow... <laughs> we vomit. <laughs> you are hopeless. That is clear. I took a handsome sword to meet the fighting. Have it. A keepsake to remember this day by. You honor me. I will cherish the blade. By the way, I was surprised you gave the boy to Charles. It is an ill fate to be prince to such a lord. You're right, Toka. But what I did was not for Bernard. It was for us and for my clan. Ah, Eivor! Here is something even you have never done. Tossing food for sport. Cheese throwing. The most pungent game of them all. Nastier than Charles himself. You enjoy this? I prefer to eat the cheese, but who am I to question the games of the people? So, want to toss some cheese? Will not hurt to try. Should be easy. Just try not to hit anyone. Bravo, Evor! Good throw, Evor! Never underestimate the cheats. Did I underestimate the... You definitely earned the prize, so here, some stray silver from the spoils of Paris. You expected a different outcome. I thought you best for rallying a siege and swinging a sharp stick. Was not sure how you would toss some cheese. There is much about me you don't know, Pierre. Oh, pray tell. What else should I know? Worry not about what I might teach. Right. Plenty to celebrate about this night. Don't let me spoil your fun. Go on. Something was amiss with Siegfried earlier. A little ale may have lifted his spirits by now. Eivor the Talker. Quite a trove of riches, Siegfried. What were you doing with Count Odo as Charles's army marched on me and my men? I was trying to gain his surrender. What of it? Is it not strange that you met with Odo, Richardus, even Charles himself, and yet all three still walk around with their heads? Everything I have done has been for my clan. It is curious that we must drench our blades in battle sweat to enjoy a night like this. There need not be blood for us to celebrate. We find countless reasons to feast. <laughs> the Frankish blood, the feasting. I still feel nothing. I find no peace in any of it. You avenged your murdered people. You gained glory in their names. Is that why I did what I did? Vengeance and glory. 
I wonder anymore why any of us do the things we do. Is it Valhalla? Is it clan? Or maybe we grant ourselves reasons to go from one mead cup to the next. Maybe there are no reasons, and we are no different than wolves, driven by some inner hunger we can never understand. That may be, but for the sake of our peoples, we must continue to act otherwise. No. I do not believe there is a hall waiting for us. This world is our hall. We get but one. I shall not pretend. Frankia's cup overflows with lush farmland, fat farmers and fatter purses. All the more for us to drink. Tomorrow, we quit this place and head south for greater bounties than even a king can grow. We gave Charles our word. Fuck Charles! We spared Paris today, but tomorrow we march for Burgundy. And after that, all of Francia. I cannot let you do it, Siegfried. Then stop me. My eyes. Will it be a home gang then, Wolf Kissed? I only ask that you honor your agreement. What does a crow starver like Charles know about honor? I owe him nothing. And he owes me everything. No amount of Frankish blood will bring Sinrich or the others back. Some wrongs can never be made right. All this talk of right and wrong, honor, as if we can judge. It has no meaning. Can we explain all the blood on our hands, Eivor? Or are we two jesters on this Frankish stage, awaiting our final performance? Dry your weapon. If you want to find peace, this is not the way. We must build fresh bonds, look forward to something new. Look forward, look back. It is death in both directions. We are but a morning fog that will inevitably lift. Now answer my challenge or dishonor yourself! Your sorrow will linger if you do not face it directly. My blood, the blood of more Franks, will be no solve for your grief. It is as if you speak with Sinric's voice. I have been at sea with no stars to guide by since he died. And if your brother were here, what would be his counsel? To move forward. To live. My time here is over. My kin are dead. The ones who remain must decide what is right for themselves. Let it be Toka's time. What will you do? Leave this place. Ask different questions. Forget everything I know and... find a new way.
Where is he going? Away. Then I am going with him. No, Toka. Your clan needs you. He was not himself since my father died. A solitary man. But never more so than when he stood alone, tasked with rousing our desperate clan. He led well, but all leaders must one day step aside. That, or see others die because they held on to power for too long. When his strong voice echoed in this place, we knew what to do. We had courage, daring. This fire still burns in your folk. Skull. Skull. I lack a taste for mulled wine. Sometimes a leader must drink the thing they wish not to. I have word from Count Odo. What does he want? An audience with Eivor. It is urgent. He says the Queen may be in peril. My spies confirm this. Shao has been hunting again for her and the boy. What do you think? Odo would not lie. If he says it's urgent, I must go. I owe the Queen a debt, and I'm unabound to see this through. Then go. You have fortune's favor, Wolfkist. <laughs> <laughs> 